All right, let's go back to Thanksgiving and COVID-19. So many families are struggling with how to juggle the desire to see loved ones with the need to keep everybody safe from the virus. Paula Tutman spoke to one woman whose plans have been deeply affected by a very personal loss. And Paula, too many families will relate to the story. Oh yeah, absolutely, and relate to everything about it because this is the time where a lot of people are prepping for their holiday meal in whatever way they actually do their prep. But here's the thing, what health experts are telling us is no matter how you prep for your meal, the most important prep happens before you get to your kitchen. Vaccines, masks, even COVID testing to make sure that your family members can remain safe. Ugh, I, I'm just hoping they have my last few items. Terry Miles is doing the Thanksgiving Eve dance. You know, the one where you're getting your last minute preps done before the big meal. She's expecting a full house tomorrow, but there will be one spot empty at her table. Her brother, Tony Talbert, the basketball great, who died this summer from COVID after refusing to get vaccinated. He was always first one there, last one to leave. So this holiday will be a little bit different because there definitely will be an empty seat there. And... Uh, I miss them. I can't tell you there's a day that goes by, I still don't cry. So. And that is why the rules will be different tomorrow in her home and at her table. And we don't want to continue to go through this grief again. So the only way to prevent that is make sure you just, you're just honest with people and tell them, look, you come to my stuff, you must be vaccinated. Infectious disease expert Dr. Matthew Sims from Beaumont Health System says not taking simple and safe protocols at your table simply feeds the virus. We need layers and layers of protection. And those layers include the vaccine. It includes masks. It includes social distancing, it includes hand hygiene, cough etiquette. If everyone in the house is fully vaccinated, yes, you stand less risk of breakthrough infections, but it doesn't hurt to still be cautious. The vaccine is not a bubble around you. It's not impenetrable. It's more like a shield, right? If you sit in a room with somebody who's spewing out lots of COVID, it's going to probably get through your vaccine. Now, it will probably still protect you from getting really sick but it may not protect you from getting infected. Keep in mind the Delta variant is the game changer. It can harbor itself in the nasal passages of those who are vaccinated and lay in wait to be transmitted to someone who is not vaccinated. Dr. Sims says definitely don't put older people or children under five in close eating proximity to those who are unvaxxed or even work at jobs that don't require masks, or if you yourself are out and about and possibly exposed. I'm worried that we're gonna have an even bigger surge after Thanksgiving because people are exposed, being exposed to other people in large numbers. Yeah, you know what? It, it, it's incredible that it, we're in our second year with, with living with COVID for a Thanksgiving, but there is a way to keep people safe. We know more than we did last year, Karen, but physicians really are concerned. Coming up at six o'clock, we, we are gonna talk a little bit more about that keeping younger and older people safe. Some, just some simple things you can do so you don't have to live with the tragedy of a COVID infection, Karen. Important information, we'll be checking back with you later. Thank you, Paula.